Hey everybody, this is Steve with Outreach Fabrication. Um, we've had a few people ask us uh, about our inflatable paint booth we've been using. Um, we got this paint booth off of Amazon about four years ago. Um, we have painted many projects in it um, and just kind of give you a review on our feelings after having it for four years. Uh, the cool thing is we were able to find one that fit perfectly in our base. Uh, so it just takes up one half of the shop when it's inflated and that gives us room on the other side of the shop to keep working on our projects and give you a little sneak peek of the humvee build we've been doing by the way we fit this whole humvee in this booth and painted it in here and we are very happy with the results that we've gotten out of it um a couple things i will point out filters um the booth originally comes with uh i don't know a less than ideal filter which we've had to put them back in because the filters that the manufacturer sent us they worked great at preventing overspray and keeping the the shop nice and clean but once they got clogged up we started having a bad problem of the zipper sticking and the overspray obviously staying in the in the booth and the zipper is getting stuck and painted shut until the the zipper thing ends up getting ripped off and it's a uh, very difficult to open the the door um, we started trying to clean them with acetone in between uh until we can find a supplier for the the new filters uh the manufacturer will probably provide us with a link uh that we can put in the video description along with the link where you can find this specific paint booth um by the way my shop is a 20 by 30 shop so you can see how it fits and how we can easily just kind of once it's deflated you know we can easily clear up a path to work on the other projects and be able to get around really easy anyway let me show you how this thing inflates real quick and then we can get back to work um it blows up pretty quick we've got two blowers uh, this is the primary one that came with the booth itself. It feeds into like the main chamber. Um, the main chamber has like two primary deflation zippers, I guess you'd call them. One on each side. And you can see basically there's a zipper. You unzip that and it deflates it much quicker. The um, way it is right now. We turned the booth off maybe five minutes ago and did not unzip anything just for this video purpose before we packed it up and stick it in the corner. Uh, the second blower fan is more of a, a clean air. It makes it more of a pressurized booth, um, blowing more of the paint outside the booth and keeping the booth more inflated. I like it because it gives us an emergency backup. So we run one blower on one circuit in the shop and then we run the other blower on another circuit on the other side of the shop and that gives us if we blow a breaker or something like that the other one will keep the booth up long enough for us to figure out why the other one had quit so anyway uh you can probably check the time stamp at the bottom of this video to see how long it takes to inflate this um i'll probably end the video after that because once it gets once the blower starts, it's pretty loud, but I'll give you a little tour inside and show you what I was talking about with the zippers. And while it's blowing up, since it's in a tight area, sometimes we have to go in there and like manually stand it up if it gets caught or wedged or something like that and there you go again this booth was already partially inflated um, and the doors are open now if the doors are closed it and you turn on the other blower it blows up really quick um, you see we got plenty of space like I said this is four years of use um, we're not like a we're a fabrication shop we are not a paint booth um, but we do this to mainly paint the products that we fabricate 
Um, and also, we control our deadlines instead of having to wait for a body shop to tell us when they can have something ready. So let me walk out and uh, you can see how it fits perfectly in our shop. Um, it's crazy how well this thing fits in here. And like I said, it does make it somewhat difficult to work around. So we, we just keep like a back door open in the shop for going around when it is closed up. I mean, look at the, look at the paint we were able to get out of that. I mean, it has a little bit of trash in the paint, but for what it is, we're happy, our customer's happy. It's kind of a give and take for the turnaround time that we're producing with this uh, adjustable, I guess we can, on-demand paint booth that we've got. And you can see how well it fits in here. It's pretty cool. Um, and yes, you can, like here you can see, we kind of got this corner. If we have painted parts in there, we don't do this method, but when we're prepping stuff and we're still like sanding and stuff, we do go through here. All you gotta do is just kind of push it. And just kind of push the side out of the way and you can fit through there. Um, again, if we had painted parts in the booth, we would not do that for the obvious risk of potentially knocking debris out of the ceiling. Um, before we paint, every time we get an air blower out and blow out all the cracks, we rarely have, I mean, we rarely have problems from the booth itself. Um, so like I was saying, the only problem we have right into is the zippers. Uh, once they fail, again, the manufacturer has not, hasn't really been made aware of our problem yet. This video will be kind of helping explain what our problem is with the booth. But you can see, and kind of coming around the corner, even once you get it straight, and you can see the, the build up of pain in there. So even with that, it's not that bad. Uh, it's just one of those things, like all tools in the shop, just learning how to maintenance it correctly. Um, so basically, next time we order fil filters, we will order multiple sets instead of just what we need at the time. It's still part of a growing company, a growing shop. As you can see, that's straight stock there. Um, I've got a camera in my hand, so I can't put the camera down and zip it the rest of the way. But it works. Um, we'll probably try to clean a little bit more today with acetone before we pack it up. Um, I guess that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to comment on any ideas or opinions. Thanks.